Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Olight M22 Warrior. The wait is finally over. The two of those pieces did arrive from China. One with a bit damaged box. That can happen, but this one is pretty much intact. So we're gonna do the unboxing and the review on this one. We see this light, this all light also comes in a nice plastic box. As I saw with the damaged one, unfortunately it's not that the strongest box, but still it's a way better alternative than a cardboard box in my opinion. The hinges are pretty big and it also has feet, so the box could stand alone like that. The, the hinges are not that durable, those got damaged, so that is the feedback that I can give about that. We see on the front maximum 950 lumens, that translates to 305 meters, 30 hours runtime, uh, quite likely with the 18650 and drop and impact resistance 2 meters, waterproof and all that. Uh, I did select the black coated bezel ones. We're gonna see that later in a second video how I did alter the stainless steel bezels on the earlier Olights that I had. On the front, on the other side of the, the box we see the picture of the flashlight alone quite likely in a in a cave where they light it up and all that and of course made in China website is olightworld.com and yeah pretty much the same as we open it need to look this one is the correct one as we open it, we see the manual. First, of course, I like manuals. This one is not that much, but uh, still, we're gonna show it. Uh, mainly in English. You can always stop the video to read it closer. Uh, it's pretty simple to operate this flashlight. I'm gonna show. The strobe is 10. Hertz. We have uh, 950 lumens maximum and for an hour 250 lumens on low 3 hours and 20 lumens on medium is 30 hours. Strobe of course is maximum. On the back side is the more interesting part. It uh, shows what all comes with the flashlight. We have the holster, the diffuser, battery magazine basically for two pieces CR123 that the slightly smaller CR123s don't rattle in the flashlight. The usually be used 18650s are slightly bigger. Then we have a silver color lanyard, still, it's still silver, not that tactical. We have spare o-rings and a spare silicone push button cap. Those, those are quite likely one day going to be a, a problem by the, by the rubber. Then it explains how the, the flashlight is built up, how you open it up and uh, put in either the two pieces CR123 with the battery magazine or a single C, uh, single 18650. 18650 is rechargeable so it also it gives you more runtime and it's stronger. Here we see the output and the runtime from the factory and here we see the modes it's pretty, pretty simple to operate. I'm gonna show that in a minute.
Then we have a warranty card, the English version, and the Chinese version. Then it comes with two advertising flyers, really small, just showing some, some other products. What they what they have this is plain simple advertising that's all what it is some of the flashlights are really big that they make here we have the M22 warrior what we look at so to the flashlight itself that's it. It's the version with the black bezel. Uh, they do offer two versions. One has the regular silver color bezel, stainless steel bezel. This one is also stainless steel. It just got a bit uh, black coated so far. The durability of the black coating is pretty good. Uh, it looks uh, like a titanium oxide finish so uh, that should be pretty pretty well flashlight is nicely made as always comes with a serial number what I did think we may have a bit more problem is because this flashlight has one two three flat spots on the body to clamp it as a weapon light which I gonna use one of the two but uh, so far that did work out well uh, there would be always the possibility to first put a bit uh, suitable tape just one one loop around the body and then clamp it like that it would quite likely uh, save on wear of the finish of the flashlight as well the anodization is really nice done, nicely matte. The, the click here is nice. They did make the hole a bit oval here for the lanyard. The bezel itself is nicely smooth, not too, too big standing out. It's of course a Cree XML. LED with a smooth reflector in there and what we see here red that it's actually a o-ring it's not like a, a round o-ring it's more a bit formed as you take off the bezel then you see it that has some particles that glow in the dark in it it doesn't glow really well but it gives you at least a little bit as a as a locator if you light that up say with uh, either with this flashlight or with another one but uh, it's it's not that much it's basically red and the glow in the dark would be green it's it's small little little uh, fragments now to open the flashlight on the back side we just open it up we see the regular construction of the clicky always make sure to check that that is correct adjusted there are those two holes you can put in a suitable tool like a long plier and see that it is screwed on well sometimes it's a bit loose on some flashlights also the threads got a bit lubricated usually they are too dry they use square threads that makes it really nice the, the threads are more strong than usually then we have this part here that we simply can take off it's no screwing anymore they have this dimple that comes from the clip that goes into the groove here so there is no rotation anymore, no threading, 
no nothing it simply sits in that groove and there you can also take the clip off like this what I don't like on the clip is it's a bit weak on the metal I would rather have smaller holes or no holes and have the, the clip a bit more thick especially where it bends around the corner there is is in my opinion too little material and here here again we see that dimple the dimple the dimple goes in here so we can mount the clip only in that position but the system I like really much has two o-rings then you grab the fragmentation device put it on it has a sticker that shows you that the plus pole goes in I use a 18650 on this flashlight you screw it back on that's all what it is then we have a secondary thread this one you should not open just to show how that looks that is not anodized as there needs to be the connection for the electricity that's how that looks I did loop that up a bit as well usually you should uh, use the back side for change the battery yeah that's it this one is without the side switch as some other flashlights from Olight it uh, goes only if you press a little bit or you click it full in and to change the, the output you simply turn the bezel that's low it's medium it's high low medium high now I leave it on low put it off if you push a little bit and then it goes higher so if you click if you push it three times it goes on strobe needs a bit training but say if we have it on low first is low we need to push it in a certain yes then we have high and then come strobe so you need to to test it a bit out with your finger how you want to have it for me mainly I leave it on high and doesn't matter if you have it on low medium or high if you double press it triple press it you come to strobe and uh, that is tactically pretty pretty well so I like it also the the cable clicky would work as well that was used by the other by the other uh, all lights in this size so that much about that the diffuser that comes with it is like the other ones before as well simply goes over it that's all what it is we have here a secondary loop like here so we could even put it on a cord we have the battery magazines the magazine for the two pieces CR123 then the holster holster is the usual the usual uh, design that they use bottom is off this one here is a bit frayed I need to use a, a lighter to uh, stop that from fraying on the side goes a battery the other side as well there we have a bit of a fray a fray uh, too so the flashlight goes in that way that's how it looks in the in the belt sheet belt sheet 
and uh, behind you have a loop, a D loop. This one is plastic, that's not gonna last too long. The, the belt loop here is with Velcro, makes a pretty good impression. So you don't need to take off your belt if you want. It's adjustable, you can make it as, as wide as you want. So that's pretty good too. And uh, by the hole I'm gonna do a bit of different solution. I'm not gonna leave the hole there. I'm gonna use a clear Kydex piece that will get a red see-through sticker. So we can use that as a red lens. Of course not in high because the, the flashlight gets a bit hot so that would quite likely melt or damage the, the sheet. But on low and medium that should work that we have a bit of red light built in as well. Red light comes in handy for keep up the night vision for go in and out the tent without all the bugs coming with you and all that. And in the, the belt sheet always are the spare o-rings and the rubber. Uh, this one is not black, it has a different color. It's a quite likely glow in the dark. I did not uh, take it out yet. So, so it comes with one black and one glow in the dark that we leave in. It's always good to have spare o-rings. Then what I really don't like, the lanyard the construction is pretty nice with the, with the metal, but uh, if we look at the tactical light and then a uh, silver cord, it's simply not tactical. It's kind of design feature how they how they do that in that silver color. I'm simply don't I simply don't like it too much. I use my own lanyards made out of paracord. It's also uh, that is not a paracord, that is something else from China. And uh, I use the 550 cord from USA, that's a way better quality. And you get that in, yeah, quite likely 350 colors and color combinations by now. Everything from US flag over orange, over tactical black, olive green, coyote brown, mousy gray, everything. So uh, whatever color you choose, that is the way to go to fit the, the flashlight and the last how that would look on the firearm that is on a R15 I just used a simple mount to mount the second M22 on it so it will be a great weapon light with those 950 lumens I like that a lot and uh, see how good and well the the body will clamp with those three flat sides. Of course you need to remove the, the pocket clip to uh, be able to clamp it. As, as you saw in the video it's pretty simple. So that much about the Olight 22. Great flashlight, love it, strong, powerful, we're gonna test that out this summer a lot in the nature here in North Georgia where we don't blind or disturb the neighbors or the, the surrounding uh, people in Europe, especially in Switzerland, it was always so crowded, we hardly could do that without uh, complaints but in USA especially in state parks and in uh, the mountains like we have here that is no problem if you don't have a good flashlight I would look around think what what would be best look in the forums like candle power forum if you are in Germany and don't have a or in Switzerland and look for a flashlight go to a Taschenlampen forum there you get lots of choices and also if you have questions those people help you because you uh, need a, a flashlight a good one a high quality one not not only a cheap garbage that in the worst case scenario will 
fail on you. Those those uh, quality for that all light offers like like uh, a couple other manufacturers are really really good. You can depend on it. That is something that you can trust. And I never had a all light fail on me. And by now, I would say it's over over 10 12 pieces I have of those of different all lights over the over the years great flashlights that much about the all 822